to your wrath are presently attacking the Pekonk in the Lakeli and Kruger constellations. These beings have slavish devotion to their dark gods Dogar and Kazan, which in the past few years has been used against them by the Unga. If you need to manipulate the Irath, we suggest you discover the Unga's technique and duplicate it. The Pekunk are a mystical offshoot of the Yehat species who left their bird brothers long ago to found a peaceful enclave in the Kruger and Kaitlis stars. At the present time, the Pekunk are defending themselves against the Irath, who have been commanded to attack the happy birds by Dogar and Kazan. The Pekunk may be unwilling to make a formal alliance with you, but we have confidence that if you explain yourself honestly, they will help your efforts against the Irkwan. Okay, let us go find some new species. Thank you, Mel Norme. I do appreciate that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, this should be the Bakonk's home system. Let's see if I can get their home world without having to deal with all the, you know, non-people in charge. Okay, this could be hard. Maybe I can maneuver them away? Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Lie around. Come on, come on. It's sharp turn. Sharp turn there. Okay, there we go. Aha! Come in peace. What? A spirit voice rings within my soul. Oh dear God. It tells me that I must give you something. Something to aid you on your noble quest. Okay. What spirit? What must we give this young human? Chips? Mineral resources? Yes. No. Oh. Important secret? Yes. No. Oh. Starship? Yes. No. Oh. Then what is it? What? That thing? Are you sure? Okay, here you go, Captain. Take this clear spindle. It is uh... an ancient and powerful device built by the precursors hundreds of thousands of years ago. Uh... What does it do, you ask? Yeah. I haven't the slightest idea. Oh, dear God. Auspicious portents and serendipitous omens have foretold your arrival. Welcome, alien guests, to the home of the just and playful pekunk, children of the cosmic light, hobgoblins of joy, seekers of spiritual truth, and other neat stuff like that. I'd rather have ships. Okay, um, uh, perhaps we should introduce ourselves, yeah. Yes, yes, we know all that. We are not known throughout the galactic sector as powerful psychics for nothing. Okay. Of course, we already know the answer to this next question, too. But we enjoy conversation. Why have you come here? Uh, come for your homework, offer assistance, this vessel, and crew your service. Um, what else is there? Fight against Urquan. Yeah. Um, we seek on a five-year mission. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I sense a deeper reason. A deeper conflict. A conflict of immense proportion. Yes. A proportion of deeper reason. A deeper thing that is not too terribly deep. A conflicting deeper thing. Uh, I'm not really sure what I sense. Are you sure there isn't something you want to say to me? Um, yes, actually there is. Uh, probably the second one. No, cross is good. Uh, the fight. Always the fight. Yep. We, the Kunk, are yin and you are yang. I suppose the problem is that the Earth one are a little more yang than you are. Yep. Well, be that as it may, we are sympathetic to your concerns. We were not always the mystical, aloof, and yet caring, enlightened beings that we are now. If need be, we can still kick some serious butt. Let us unite and form an alliance. We will provide you with all of the crew, ships, and resources you desire. We will give you... Wait! I 
sense that you are offended by our craft material offer. No, no, yes, no, really, no, 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 what, no, Any no. Any warmongering species could offer this. No, we please. We are the kunk, oh, God. children of the stellar breeze. Oh, God. We shall give you what all of You have a lot of names, you have a lot of names. The greatest of gifts. Oh, God. We shall give you our love. Oh, Ah, you are speechless. Yes. Do not talk now. Oh, God. I can feel the energy connecting us. Let us talk while the silence remains. Farewell. But mm. wait, before we go, as a small token of our love, not as a material gift, mind you, we give you four of our major oh, ships. Thank you. Crude. Good luck. Thank you. 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 God. That was unique. That was special. Okay, where next? Mm, sure. Yeah, let's go visit the Illrath. Let's go see if we can stop this war. Engage. Eventually. Come on. Lying out. Lying out. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. There we go. Okay, we're here. We're here. So I think this is the Ilraf's home system. So, I don't want to talk to them directly, but let's use the caster and see what happens. Listen! It is the hideous and inspiring voices of our gods, Dogar and Kazan. Hey! Oh, great gods of evil and darkness. Yo. What can your humble and devious servants do for you? Um... Eat these words, uh, worship us. That'd be cool. Um... Da, ba, 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 ba. Your yeah. will is our inspiration. Thank you. What shall we do? Ooh, let, let's see. What what can we do? Let me see four of you being... Uh... Bill rats. Yeah. That'd be cool. Um... Yes. We the Dill Rats. There we go. Bow and scrape off our appendages in your honor. Thank you. Mighty Dogar and Kazan. Excellent. 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 Also. We can never receive sufficient direction from you, great master. Oh, thanks. We eagerly await your next vile commandments. Excellent, excellent. Um, yes. Oh, mighty Dogar. Oh, mighty Kazan. Your devoted servants hear your words and obey your divine and cruel insights. Thank you. The Pakunk are unfit for our sacramental tortures. We relish the prospect of killing worthy prey. We will leave immediately so that we can begin our glorious evil devotion. But who shall we prey upon next? Exactly. Who shall suffer our inspired torment? Very true, very true. Hmm. Didn't those lonesome Umga once mention a race near their region of space? Hmm. Yes, I have it. The Fredash. Oh. We will go now and kill all of them. I should, I should probably meet them before that happens. Um. <clears throat> Farewell, Dogar and Kazan. We are awed by your malevolent presence and swear unto you to commit even more violent, treacherous deeds tomorrow than we did today. Good luck, bro. The Fredash are an arrogant, stubborn, and thick-skinned species who reside in the Draconis and Apodis star systems. They have little or no respect for anything but force, which they admire greatly. To make the Fredash your friends, you should consider killing most, but not all of them. In addition, 
They guard some kind of sacred relic at the star system Zeta Draconis, though we do not know the true nature of this artifact. The Fladash homeworld is at Delta Draconis. Okie dokie, here we go. Uh oh. I take it you're the dash. Ooh, Rainbow World. So, what's this? An unknown alien species. Hi. How wonderful. Someone new to fight. I guess. We, the Tradash of Ultra 19. Ultra 19? Okay. Urquan combat brawls know well the value of a good fight. Either you win and prove your superiority, uh -huh. or you lose and are vanquished. There's if true. the vanquished is lucky, it may survive to learn an important lesson from its defeat. This is the way of the Thradash. We fight and learn and improve. All other cultural schemes are inferior. This is a proven fact. What have you to say before we begin combat? Um, let's see, what can I say? Plus, uh, sure. Your blustering does not impress me. We have requirements which need to be fulfilled. That sounds good. Uh, yeah, what? Uh, you say what? Foolish, pitiful, small-headed being. We will destroy you and everybody on your ship. Yeah, I like to see you try. Okay, we're taking in the big boy. I got fully equipped. Die. <laughs> well, not fully equipped. I still need to upgrade uh, one more set of weapons, but good enough. Yeah, this, this is going to be a thing. This is going to be a thing. But... The Mel Melnorme told me to blow you up, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, what a laugh! You are the least battle-worthy creature I've ever seen commanding a starship. Hey, bro. We are the Irquan fighting slaves of Culture 19. I know this. Please don't run away. We wish to be your species' new role models. Uh... Unfortunately, to do this, we may need to blast you into your component atoms. Okay. Hostility? Har, har, har. Yeah. We are not hostile. Hostility is unwarranted aggression. If you want to know about hostility, let us tell you about Ultra 12. Oh no, not Ultra 12. Ultra 12 was so hostile that while they were on their way to their first great battle, Junka. The Battlemaster stepped on Nusko, the tactician's foot, causing him great pain. The annoyed Nusko turned on his Battlemaster, Jugka, and sliced his body in half. Oh. This myth, Jugka's troops, who took it upon themselves to murder Nusko and his elite troops. The real trouble started when now dead Jugka's master sergeants Moo and Put started arguing about how to kill Nusko. Yeah. Simple crucifixion or the slower lead tattoo technique. The argument was resolved when Mood and his 500 troops were slaughtered by Put and his gang. Oops. Well, this probably all would have gone down in history as a great day of learning for Ultra 12. Were it not for the surprise arrival of Culture 12's original enemy, the Yajog and his cronies, who wiped out Culture 12's army, thus beginning the long and glorious Culture 13. Ah. Now that's hostility. I get it. We, I get it. on the other hand, merely want to kill you. Okay. Har, har, har. We like secret weapons. We will now give you the opportunity to give them to us. I'm just gonna shoot and blow you up and then take the money and probably go buy better guns. <laughs> Here we go again. Okay. Uh. Boom. 
Yeah, I don't think I think they're lying. They're not exactly the best at all. Oh no, too close. If they get close, they can screw me. They can screw me, but yeah. Uh. Okay, let's do this again. Attention, weak, ugly humans. Upward that wallowing garbage scowl of a ship. It hurts, it hurts. Unless you are even more inferior than we believe. And that's hard to imagine. You already know who we are. The Thradash of Quarter 19. We are the original Urquan fighting slaves. Are you really? The cream of their elite forces. I don't think you are. Your instructors in the harsh realities of life. It is time for your next lesson. Um, let's see, what now? Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, might as well. We like secret weapons. We will now give you the opportunity to give them to us. Oh, too close, too close. Ooh, I lost two people. Okay, it's not good, not good. Okay, we're fine though, we're fine. Oh, what? Stop appearing so close. So mean. Oh god, really? Yeah, like that. Because that afterburner stuff can actually hurt. Oh. Recharge. Recharge. Oh god. Have I killed enough of them yet? I haven't got their home world yet. There it is. Okay. Right. Right there? Delta Draconis, okay. Oh, finally. Okay, now we gotta maneuver to the planet. Without being killed. Oh no. Oops. Oops. There we go. Perhaps humans can fight after all. Oh. If our reports are accurate, yep. we will test this hypothesis in the laboratory of life. Oh no. In glorious battle, your puny, inadequate weaponry is no match for the Thradash Mark VI Blaster. Um. With its four megawatt energy discharge. Whoa. Nor can your slow, bloated tubs compare to our flash turbo boosted warships. We have nothing to fear, inferior aliens. You have once again intruded upon the territory of the Thratash. Yep. This is a patrolled region of space. Your presence here is considered an act of war. I know, I know. How wonderful! Okay, well, uh, you say I could, but... Mm. Perhaps, after we have made you our slaves, we can accommodate your wishes. Until then... Uh, you are strong. We like strong. We are strong. You are weak. And uh, we hate weak. We do not need weak friends. Oh, God. We only want slaves okay. and teachers. Sure. Since you have nothing to teach us and refuse to be our slave, then you are our enemy. Such logic must be obvious, even to a stupid being like yourself. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> we like secret weapons. We will now give you the op- Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm just gonna blow you all up again. Number one. <laughs> Number two. Number three. Four. 
Was there a five? Nope. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna destroy a few more, and then I'm gonna go to the home world. Inferior aliens, uh, you have once again intruded upon the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fine. Now, obviously, this is not working as much as I thought it would be, but we are strong. You... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Talk Brutal. Hmm. I guess I could ask what? this. More talk? It amazes me that you ever got out of the orbit of your home planet. Thanks. Yak, yak, yak. Yammer, yammer, yammer. Oh, very well, we will talk for a moment. Our quarter 19 is the most formidable ever to appear in Tradash space. <laughs> Admittedly, we said something similar about quarter 18, yep. but it is true. With our rather swift defeat by the Urquan and subsequent enslavement, we realized that it was time for a change. A new culture had to be established. So of course, we began a thermal nuclear exchange to decide who would lead this new culture. Okay. We were all quite disappointed when the Urquan in orbit above our home world launched waves of fighters who intercepted all our missiles. Aww. The Urquan explained that slaves were not permitted to engage in such destructive conflicts. Okay. So my people, being superior, introduced a super lethal poison into our opponent's water and air. Thus ending the conflict. <laughs> the Earth One were not particularly happy about this resolution and okay. killed all our leaders, which, under other circumstances, would have started a larger inter Dratash war. But the Earth One appointed new leaders, apparently chosen at random, and explained that further disobedience would result in the destruction of our species. Frustrating, huh? Um, I guess. A foolish question. We are their slaves, don't. What else would we be? When the Earth One first appeared in our space over 50 years ago, coming from the direction of the old Fuji stars, we attacked them with gusto, zipping in to fire our Mark VI blasters, and then theoretically zipping back out to prepare for another attack. Theoretically. Unfortunately, before we could zip out, our ship were either blasted to smithereens by the Urquan's fusion bolts or were picked apart by the swarms of Urquan fighter vessels. Okay. You may wonder why we didn't use our afterburners to escape. The answer is simple. Fifty years ago, our ships had not yet been modified for this enhancement. Oh, okay. It was not until 2143 that maintenance engineer Rion invented the afterburner effect. Oh, that's nice. When he accidentally stuck his cigar in the aft fuel valve of the <laughs> ship he was working on. The ship took off like a farm out of hell, and Ryuk was fried to a crisp. Yes, we remember Ryuk with much fondness. Of course, we have refined the device, and now that our entire fleet has been fitted with the Ryunk afterburners, perhaps now the Earth One will let us fight at their side as true battle thralls. Maybe. We wanted to. Oh, how we wanted to! After all, we were the first battle draw the Earth One enslaved in this part of space. Really? We thought we had priority. But the Urquan thought we were too weak to hold our own in the upcoming battles, so they left us here to guard the flank. If only we had been <laughs> stronger and less <laughs> troublesome. Yeah, that's true. Another reason the Urquan wouldn't take us with them was because we kept picking fights with the new battle slaves. Like uh... the Kumbarabis or those religious idiots. The Ilrath. Well, Where guess what? Go, you the Ilrath are going to pay you a visit here shortly. Of course. We can't tell you. If we told you that they were fighting a secret war against a mysterious invader, you might find some way to use that information against our masters. So forget Maybe. It. No secrets. Okay, gotcha. No secrets. No secrets. 
Yeah, that's actually a good idea. What foolish stupidity! <laughs> Why, that's as dumb an idea as... What did you say? I know. Attack the Urquan's enemy? Yeah. Help them win their war? Yeah. Why, that's a... That's a... That's an excellent idea. Well, thank you. I'm glad I thought of it. We shall marshal our forces and leave at once. Stupid, human, pitiful, weakling dog. You have been helpful. So as a reward, you may leave alive. Oh, thanks. And when we return from our glorious campaign, we may even honor you with a retelling of the many great battles we shall certainly win. Excellent, Until excellent. Then, get lost! That hurts my feelings, but okay. I mean... Okay, what news do you have for me? Ah, Captain, I'm glad you're back. Really? Nothing? Okay. The analysis reads as follows. Subject, clear spindle device. Data, the object in question has no clear use or means of activation, but does have superconductive characteristics between 18 and 22 degrees centigrade. Oh, really? We suspect that it is a precursor manufacturer, but we cannot be certain without extended study. Okay. Summary? In all likelihood, this object is part of a larger device whose capabilities remain unknown. <laughs> That's the end of our scientist's report. Gotcha. Try to avoid getting gruesomely killed, Captain. I try. I try. Okay, so let's go check to see how everything is going. I think there's something at this planet, right? Right, 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 no. Oh. Inferior aliens, uh. you have once again intruded upon the territory of the Pratash. Yes, this yes. This is a patrolled region of space. Your presence here is considered an act of war. How wonderful! Okay. Oh, yeah. It was glorious. It was? Truly glorious, for the most part. It would have been entirely glorious, except for two factors. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Factor one, we lost over half our battle fleet during oh, that's the two week rapists. Factor two, of our casualties, only 60% were due to the Urquan's enemy, the Dark Ships. The remaining 40% can be attributed to the Urquan themselves. Oh. <laughs> we can be certain that we impressed them with at least one achievement. Due to the afterburner modification, we were somewhat harder for them to kill than when they conquered us in the first place. Okay, I mean, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, tell me about the uh, enemy ships. They were black as space itself, with only the occasional glint off their hulls as they turned to fire. Their weapons were extremely primitive, nothing more than fast spinning discs of dense metal. Yet they penetrated our defensive screens and inflicted grievous damage, purely through their enormous kinetic energy. The Black Ship's secret weapon is their Ring of Fire, which is very effective at short range. Hey, wait a minute! What am I doing answering your questions? You mean nice. Beauty human, your time is almost up. Prepare yourself for defeat. No. Oh. Um, yeah. We are strong. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that wasn't a new. Wasn't new. What? You leave before the lesson begins? Oh no. We have so much to teach you. I know. Let us show you just one thing. It's called the surprise attack. Well, it's not much of a surprise attack if you warn me ahead of time. Just saying.
three. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, past it, past it, past it. Come on, no, 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 no. Oh, God, they're all coming after me. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay, this has to be their home world. Okay. Hi. Admirable, admirable. We have never witnessed such awesome combat capabilities. Thank you. You have destroyed so many of us. We are humbled in your presence. Aww. We thought you were a weakling, a coward, no. a pitiful, oh. stealing wimp. No. We were wrong, so wrong. Yep. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, bro. You have shown yourself superior to ourselves. No, Shh, don't Indeed, say it. Even the Earth One. We wish to learn from you, thus improving our culture. Excellent. Give us your wisdom, mighty teacher. I shall. What is the secret to your success? I shall. Wait, I've got it. It's the way you respond to our hailing calls each time we meet. Just as they say, first impressions are so important. That is very true. So us, very true. Please, tell us how we should present ourselves. Excellent. Uh, what should I do? Uh, try being polite and friendly and greetings? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, really, to capture the spirit of interstellar diplomacy, protocol should be speaking Pig Latin. Oh, no. Okay, we will be polite. That will cause visitors to let their guard down. Yeah, we exactly. Them. Well, yes, that is an excellent plan. Okay. Now that we understand the nuances of introduction, great teacher, we have an even more significant question. The uh -huh. devastation of our battle forces has shown us that our Order 19 is inferior to your own. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we will adopt your methods, your techniques. But what shall we name our new culture? Oh, excellent idea. Um, how about the fat, <laughs> the glorious slate empire? No, that'd be bad. Um, let's, yeah, we'll think of some important new direction. You are wise. You'll decide your own name. You. Yeah. I will think long and hard on this matter. Excellent. Ah, it must reflect the profound changes in our soldier order. Oh no. Ah, oh no. It must clearly explain the nature of our civilization. Oh no. You're gonna call yourselves 20, yes, aren't you? I have it. The perfect name is. Culture 20. Oh, we need to learn so much from you, such as how should we act in our new culture? What is our direction? Our okay. ethical place? Um, try being considering many facets of a single gem. Um, be kind all times. Uh, lighten up, be kind. Wacky here. Look, if you really want to be mall, just look for your culture that. Okay, no, no, no. Wait, maybe? Um. Which one? Uh -huh. yeah. I see it now. We proceed carefully. We take no undue risks. Yes. We slowly build up our strength and only attack when we have overwhelming odds on our side. Exactly. In dealing with other races, we shall question them mercilessly, trying to drag out every last bit of information. Yeah, wait, and if wait. they are not Is that what I do? we will threaten them with instant death. We will be just like you. Excellent. We have much work to do to implement these sweeping cultural changes. Transferring from the allegiances and wars of one culture to another is a difficult and time-consuming task. We beg you, great warrior from Earth, give us time to make the changes you have suggested. Okay. Return later to see our brave new world. Yeah, speaking of, it might not last too long. There's someone coming to kill you. <clears throat> Just saying. <laughs> okay, where next? Where next? They're almost here. Oh, they're, they're almost here. Oh, God. <laughs> 